Have you been dating a man for a while and he has not shared his feelings with you yet? You have fallen for him long ago, but he is still not there. <laughs> well, you come to the right place as in this video I will share with you seven ways on how to get him fall in love with you. Hello, my name is Greta Berishida. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value woman secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I share with you the seven secrets on how to get a man to fall in love with you, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you a woman of low value or high value, which I will drop down in my video description box below. And if you like any of my hoodies right here, you can get them in my YouTube store. So without further ado, let's start with the tip number one, which is compatibility. So what is this and what does it look like? Well, common interests are key as this allows you to connect with one another, meaning that you are both on the same page. For example, you both share similar interests and have similar hobbies. Without this foundation, it is quite difficult to connect or even reunite after an argument. For example, maybe you are both professional football players and you both enjoy watching and discussing football as this is something that you both are passionate about. So you love attending football matches, the World Cup finals and commentating about the different players. However, just before a match, let's say a few hours before a kickoff, you both get into a silly argument and perhaps are in a place where you're ignoring each other. However, the game is about to come on in the next hour or two, the very match that you both have been waiting for and are excited to watch. Now, it is very likely that the upcoming match will reunite you as you both know that by watching it together is way more fun than by yourself. And if you still watch it by yourself, you will be thinking of how much more fun it would be to watch it together as you enjoy discussing, commentating the game. Ladies, this is exactly how compatibility works. It makes the bond stronger through common interests. Number two, letting a man be a man. So what does this look like? Ladies should not make their boyfriends into their girlfriends or having this expectation of them. I know it sounds silly, but please continue listening to this. What do you mean by that? I mean that men and women are different physically and psychologically. And if you treat a man like you are treating your girlfriend, he will most likely lose all attraction for you. Why? Because you are not fulfilling his love needs. Think about it. When a man is pursuing a woman, he is not treating her as his mate. He is trying to be a gent, he is putting his best foot forward, he is trying to be polite and charming you. I'm pretty sure that this is not how he treats his mates when they meet up. And by being a gent and charming you, he is fulfilling your love needs. And this is why you begin to like him. So in return, if you want him to like you, you must fulfill his love needs too. And if you would like to know about the differences between men and women and how to fulfill each other's love needs, please check out my playlist right here. Number three, be secure and confident. Men are attracted and respect secure and confident women because we don't put up with any of their BS. They know how to stand up for themselves, which makes them hot. If you feel like you do not fall into this category, I would really recommend not to date at all because you will most likely attract a toxic guy. This is very dangerous because he will either want to use you or will take advantage of you or will start to abuse you. 
So instead of daring, work on your confidence and do not show your weaknesses. And if you have some childhood trauma that is making you feel insecure and unlovable, well, maybe it is time to pay a therapist a visit because being high value must come from your core. And having traumas that keep hunting you and faking your confidence will not lead you far long term. If you would like to become more confident, the tips that I would recommend would be copy, mirror, confident people, do what confident people do, push yourself forward, but go at your own pace. Compare yourself only to who you were yesterday. And once you come to a place of self-love and worth, this is when you can confidently enter the dating stage. Remember ladies, games don't work as they are very short-lived. Number four, not wearing your heart on a sleeve. Here are two reasons. The first one, it is important to be kind and it is important to be truthful and honest it is important to love and it's also very important not to be naive. If you will be walking around and naively wearing your heart on a sleeve, you will put yourself in a position of becoming a perfect prey for manipulators and game players. The world is not a holy place, therefore you must guard your heart. So number two, wearing your heart on a sleeve and pursuing a man where you express your feelings for him will ultimately turn him off. Why? Because it is not your place to do that. And by doing it, you are behaving masculine. It is a man that needs to charm you, prove himself to you and show his feelings towards you first. Whilst you should be taking your time in getting to know him and observing if he is who he says and claims to be. Where you can discern if his feelings for you are genuine and sincere and only then reciprocate. Number five, control your emotions. Try not to react in the heat of the moment, but instead respond in the calm manner. This again goes back to my analogy of water. If you shake water, it does not fizz or erupt, right? So the same needs to be for you too. Being calm in any situation, including chaos, shows that you are secure, strong, and reveals your power. Why? Because when someone tries to trigger you or get angry or provocative towards you, you remaining calm shows that you have full control of yourself and you do not allow yourself to be dragged into anyone's drama. Pouring water on fire will extinguish it. And the same goes responding calmly to the drama. Six. Focus on your goals and dreams. Continue to follow the path that the Lord has for you and try not to slip from this. This is very healthy behavior in many ways. Instead of focusing on a man and putting him on a pedestal, you are pursuing and focusing on your life goals. This makes you develop into an interesting, attractive, independent and confident woman. With your growing character traits, you naturally become a challenge because your identity as a woman has depth and breadth. And this is exactly the type of woman that men fall for. Number seven, do not try to please him. Do you drop everything for him? Perhaps if he calls you up spontaneously to meet up in 15 minutes, do you drop your plans for him last minute? Perhaps you cancel that hair appointment or a meeting with your friends, even though you had it planned in advance. Ladies, stop doing this. 
Why? Because it sets the wrong message of you putting him on a pedestal and replacing your world with him. By doing this, you're showing that he is more important than you and that you are stepping away from your identity for him. And if you will do this more than a few times, instead of valuing and respecting you, he will start to undervalue you and take you for granted. Why? Well, if you don't see the value in your own life, instead you show how happily and easily you let go of this for him, well, how is he going to see the value of your life too? If you want him to value and respect you, well, show him that you have value and respect for yourself and your life first by not dropping your meaningful plans for his last minute requests. So ladies, these were my seven tips on how to get a man to fall in love with you. If you liked this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. Join Greta's High Value Woman School where we are all in the same boat learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And if you would like um, to find out how to stay attractive via text, games, men, play with women, uh, how to control your emotions, how to love yourself, or how to get your ex back, you can find all of these videos for sale in my video description box below and as a pinned comment under this video. And for one-on-one -on -one or group coaching, please book me through my website, which is called gradabrishita.com. Thank you for watching. Kisses from Dorset. Mwah.